Oh, hello, Mr. Scott. I brought you the rent. Thank you. Seems strange giving money to a man you know. I'll bet it does. In case you didn't catch my name, I'm Ed Forbes. Oh, yes. I've heard a lot about you from Jim. You're a lawyer, aren't you? I uh, practice before the bar, also behind it. Can I offer you some wine of the country? I'd love it. If there's one thing I have a weakness for, it's champagne. If there's one thing I have a weakness for, it's girls who have a weakness. <laughs> what are you celebrating? Our wedding anniversary. Really? Mm hmm You know, all the time we were overseas, Jim talked of nothing but you. And that must have been pretty dull. Oh, no. Jim can make anything interesting. <clears throat> I'm sure Miss Stevens is just the person to refresh your memory about Paris. Oh, yeah. Say, Bobby, uh, Roberta, do you remember the name of that cafe just down the street from the uh, Dure Magot? Not offhand, but I could look it up in my diary. Could I peer over your shoulder? It's been so long since I've read a good book. Tell me, Miss Stevens, what did you do before the war? The same thing I'm doing now, modeling. Oh, then you're not a professional soldier. Your wife has a great sense of humor. <laughs> Your humorous wife needs another drink. It's always been my ambition to get hold of a surplus whack. <laughs> By the way, I'm having some people in for a housewarming tomorrow night. I'd like you all to come. Sure thing. Have you forgotten, dear, we're going out to dinner tomorrow night? I'm available. Well, I think I'd better be going. I've uh, hardly unpacked yet. Do you mind if I come along and help? Three hands are better than two. <laughs> Thanks for the drinks. 